Hey guys, my name is Sierra. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I thought we would discuss vital signs and how to properly perform those skills. I will be performing three different vital signs on my nephew this morning. Number one will be pulse, number two will be respirations, and number three will be blood pressure. To the side of me are these vital signs and the ranges within normal limits when you are performing these skills on a patient or friend or family member. Let's get right to it. Firstly, you will need a watch with a second hand. Next, you will take your index finger and your middle finger and place it on the groove of your patient's wrist, thumb side. You should be able to feel their pulse without placing too much pressure on their wrist. Now you will begin to follow the second hand on your watch for exactly 30 seconds while simultaneously counting each pulse you feel in your patient's wrist in that span of time. Once the time is up, you will multiply the amount of beats you felt in those 30 seconds by two, which will give you the patient's heart rate per minute. Now on to respirations. We will perform this skill immediately after taking pulse rate. Here is a fun trick. If the patient knows you are counting their breathing, it may cause their breathing to become irregular. We will keep our fingers placed on their wrist while following the second hand on our watch for another 30 seconds and simultaneously count their breathing. It's helpful to look at the patient's chest rise and fall. Each breath counts as one full inspiration and one full expiration. Ta-da! You have properly counted your patient's respirations without them knowing. We will then take the number of respirations we got in the span of those 30 seconds and multiply it times two, giving us a number of breaths per minute. Time to take blood pressure. To complete this skill, you will need a stethoscope and a blood pressure cuff, also known as a sphig manometer. First thing we will do is place the blood pressure cuff on our patient's upper arm. Be sure to align the artery side properly with the arteries of the arm. Next, with our index and middle finger, we will feel for the brachial pulse, which will be in the fold of the elbow medially to the patient. This may take some time, and you may notice the location of a person's brachial pulse may slightly vary on each person's arm. We want to feel the strongest pulse point. Now, before taking blood pressure, we want to make sure our blood pressure cuff is on the unaffected side if there is an affected side of the patient. We need to make sure our patient's legs are uncrossed, that they are sitting up straight, and lastly, that we are supporting their elbow at heart level. Next, we will grab our stethoscope and place our ear tips in our ear and grab the chest piece of the stethoscope and place it over the strongest brachial pulse point we found with the pad of our fingers. Now we will take our blood pressure cuff, specifically the bulb and valve, and make sure that the valve is closed. We will then begin squeezing the bulb. We will stop squeezing when our gauge reaches around 180 millimeters of mercury. Now we will begin to slowly release the valve, actively listening closely for the first beat we hear, which will be our systolic number, and listening closely again for the last beat we hear, which will be our diastolic number. Once we hear the last beat, we will fully release the valve and take the blood pressure cuff off our patient. The first beat I heard on Mason was 116 and the last beat was 72. Therefore, his blood pressure is 116 over 72. It takes immense practice being able to hear the first and the last heartbeat and maneuvering the valve slowly in a timely manner. I hope this video was informative and thank you guys so much for watching. Chances are, if you like this video, you will probably like the future videos I put on YouTube because I will be in nursing school for several more years. So please like and subscribe to follow me along my nursing journey. Again, thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you guys have a great rest of your morning, afternoon, night, and I will see you very soon. Bye. Hi guys, I'm Sierra. <laughs> are you making fun of me? Send them a kiss. Uh oh. Aww.